friends, how are you? Welcome back. If we haven't met, hello, my name is Mikkel and I am very thankful to be meeting you today. A while ago, I did a video about how to make your home look more expensive, and it was something that a lot of people really liked, and it did pretty well. And since then, I've thought of more different tips and tricks and better tips and tricks, so I wanted to do an updated part two. If you don't know my home, I live in a small little studio. I also am on a budget, so I always try to find little things that I can invest in or little ways to display my home to make it look higher quality and more expensive. And one thing I always like to keep in the back of my mind is what do hotels do? Nice hotels that make you want to stay there and make it just look so luxurious and nice and expensive. And then on the flip side, I also ask myself, what do stores do when they're advertising in their catalogs? What do those stores do like restoration hardware when you walk into them and you feel like this stuff is really nice? With that, here are some tips or tricks for how to make your home look more expensive. One thing, if you are making the investment into buying a rug, go ahead and buy a little bit bigger of a size than you think you need. People know that rugs are quite the investment piece and nothing looks cheaper than a rug that is too small in a room in that room. I have seen it plenty of times where people have a big den and then have like a three by five rug in their room and that definitely makes a spot look cheaper. So if you're going to make that jump, go ahead and spend the extra couple of dollars to get the bigger size. There are a lot of affordable ways to get rugs. My rug was from Rugs USA and they always have deals going that's 50 to 60% off. I also have bought a lot of rugs in the past from Home Goods. They have a big wall of rugs always that are quite a bit off. So if you wanna go buy a new rug, get a larger one than you think you need. Next, something really easy that you can do, especially if you're renting a space, moving into a new home, is just upgrade the hardware in your kitchen, in your bathrooms, on the drawers, on your closet, anything you have. You can buy hardware for like $4 a piece. Something that's really in right now too is just the plain matte black. If you have darker cabinets like me, I have some chrome on there, some stainless steel, because I like to pair dark black hardware on light cabinets and then stainless steel hardware on darker cabinets. I wish I had white cabinets, I do. But that is a way for, say your bathroom, if you have three drawers and a cabinet, that is, I can do math, $20, right? Is that right? 20-ish dollars to completely change your bathroom and make it look a little more custom, a little more high-end. Next, a way to display produce. You can find a cheap fruit basket at thrift stores, garage sales, even Marshalls, Home Goods. That is a really nice, elegant, beautiful way to display your produce. You're going to have to put your produce somewhere anyways. And instead of just putting it on top of your fridge, in your fridge, in a drawer, whatever you keep your produce, it's a really nice touch to like let the colors of nature in your produce. I don't have a very colorful fruit bowl right now. I mostly have potatoes and onions, but let that stand out a little bit. It can also be a little accent. I have a gold fruit bowl and I love that that's just like a fun accent metal in my kitchen. Nothing says nice, expensive, comfortable, like thinking about the little details. For example, if you're sitting on your couch, you're probably gonna want a blanket. Um, and I love, I've seen this in catalogs so many times where next to a couch, they have just like a wicker basket with a blanket draped in it. And I thought that's such a cheap, easy thing that I can do in my own home that looks so nice and expensive and thoughtful. So I found this basket for like five or $10 at Marshalls. You're gonna catch on the theme here. I love Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. I find almost everything on sale there. But they always have a ton of wicker baskets for less than $10 and just drape your favorite blanket into it. And that thoughtful touch really makes a difference. I am very lucky to have a spot that has a lot of natural light and a lot of windows, but if you don't, if you have a darker space, I highly recommend adding additional lighting, whether it be bedside tables, floor lamps, little desk lamps. If you notice those really nice stores, they have nice, bright, clean lighting. Different people have different opinions on lighting. In fact, that's something that my mom and I always disagreed on growing up. I love to have a bright space because to me, it felt clean. And other people might like dimmer, more mood lighting spaces. And that's totally fine. Having those additional lighting sources though gives you the option to do both. I feel like when it's just light you are not trying to hide any dust any dirt and it just feels clean and well kept and it really does make it feel nicer and more expensive and then if you want to in reverse make it feel expensive with some mood lighting just light some candles another way to just kind of keep your life a little more organized and looking nice and looking more like
like a display, just like a store would do, is to utilize trays. I utilize trays in my bathroom to help me organize my jewelry because otherwise I just kind of leave it on the counter. It looks much more intentional and more like a display when it is in a set tray. And then uh, another example, this is less my style, but I know this is a style a lot of people like. I got this tray as a wedding present and this is one that you could do on a bed. If you notice, a lot of really nice catalogs do this where they just kind of have a couple essentials, maybe the books you're reading now and your reading glasses and maybe your cup of coffee, whatever you need. That's one thing that you could just kind of set out and it just makes it very Instagrammable, very luxurious. An interesting thing to make your actual home look more expensive is to hang your curtains higher than you think you need to. Hanging your curtains higher than your actual window will make your ceilings look a lot taller, especially when your curtains are closed. Instead of having your curtains say seven and a half feet off the ground where your window is, having it that eight feet off the ground makes your eye look all the way up to the ceiling and think that you have very tall ceilings, which subconsciously is a more expensive type of interior. People might not put two and two together, but in the back of their mind, they'll think, wow, this place is really nice. Something that I wish I could show you, but they're actually in my hamper right now because I just hosted a dinner party, is DIYing or even buying some nice cloth napkins. I have seen really cute cloth napkins by Magnolia Home at Target for under $10. I actually have cloth napkins that my cousin DIY'd for me. And having cloth sitting out at your dining table is definitely a step up from paper napkins. It feels nice. It feels like a treat that you only get when you go out to super nice expensive restaurants. Maybe people don't actually actually notice it, but I definitely do. And I feel like a proud hostess to have it sitting out because I know it's something nice. It's a luxury that you can get for under $10. Another way to make your home look more expensive is think about bedding. I try to emulate a hotel bed as much as possible in my home, just because A, it's simple, it's clean, it feels nice, and B, it looks expensive. I like to have the double set of pillows to where I have the pillows you sleep on, but then I have an additional set of white pillows. I have a double row of pillows and then just two very simple accent pillows which you can see here they're just some little gray throw pillows and I also mimic that gray in a throw blanket adding a throw blanket to the foot of your bed is a little touch a little something everyone has an additional blanket sitting around at home and that is just it says luxury <laughs> it says coziness it says hotel it really does the next time you're at a nice hotel look at it and be like what about this just feels so nice a lot of the times it probably is the bedding so see what features you like a nice little thing that does make your home look more expensive is investing in real salt and pepper shakers to just leave out on your counter or on your table to have on the table when you have people over for dinner. I found salt and pepper shakers at a lot of places like Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx, Home Goods for under $5. These are a little bit nicer. They're from Anthropology, but I still think they were only $18. So definitely you can get nice ones too, under $20. And it's just a little touch. It's not only a little piece of art, almost a little sculptures, but it's handy and it's nice for your guests to be able to season their food to their pleasing at the dinner table. And it just feels like a really nice luxury. Last but not least, this is something I want to DIY, but I haven't gotten around to yet. I have noticed that really big pieces of art, no matter how simple simple they are just tend to look more expensive than smaller pieces of art. You associate big art with big bucks, but you don't have to necessarily spend big bucks. You can buy a really big canvas for not that much money, and I actually want to just do a very simple line drawing, an outline of something in just black and or gray, and having that on a really big, like maybe two by four foot canvas feels so expensive. and. That's the beauty of modern art. You can kind of do whatever you want and it is art. That's something that I wanna do that will, I hope, elevate my space and make it seem more expensive so I can swap out some of my smaller pieces for some bigger pieces. I hope these tips and tricks were helpful. Let me know if you like videos like this. Maybe I will do a part three and I love so much hanging out with you guys. So if you wanna hang out with me more, press subscribe. I do videos twice a week on Monday and Thursday and then sometimes I do vlogs too as additional content. So I would love so much to hang out with you. I love you. I will see you next time. Bye.